All right, you all are working hard on those argument persuasion essays. And I just wanted to remind you about the sources. You need a minimum of four sources for your paper. Feel free to use more because this essay has to be at least a thousand words. Two of those sources need to be journal articles from the library's databases, and you already know how to access those from the library quizzes that we worked on. And of course, at least one source needs to be from a book, and it would be great if that's an ebook, and you can find those on the library website as well. I did want to show you something that is new to Google Docs. And Google Docs has included a brand new tool that I think we're all going to jump up and cheer for called Citations. So if you select this tool as you are finishing up your essay, then you can go over here to Citations and you can select MLA. They also have APA in Chicago style, but we deal with MLA and you'll click add a citation source. You will tell it what type of source that you are using. Of course, we have to have a couple journal articles and then those will probably be on a online database. And then you'll have an author for the journal article most likely. And you'll type in the author's name. You may have some contributors that helped. You'll have a title of the article it will be located inside of a journal and then there might be a volume and issue page numbers there will definitely be a publication year and then the database that contained the article for instance galen or others uh, the url the website that you accessed that article um, address and the day that you accessed it the month and the year and then Google Docs will create the citation in the correct format for you. I'm super excited about this. I know you are because I know how confusing it can be to learn to cite sources. And so using this neat tool on technology that we have is wonderful. So I encourage you to give this a try as you are writing these essays and let me know if you have any questions.